All right, I have a really fun thrift haul and I'm gonna start with a few of my favorite items, which are all from the brands Bryn Walker and CP Shades. And this first item already sold for $70 within a couple days. So definitely excited about that. This is CP Shades. The top tag is really hard to read, but hopefully you can see the bottom tag. This style of pant is called the Wendy style. It's got an elastic waist, it's 100% linen, and it's a wide leg. And I was thrilled when I found this kind of pile of lag and look stuff because while lag and look may not be everyone's style, certain brands um, that sell this type of style do really well. These are two example brands. Uh, so these already sold, those are going out today. I'll put my stuff. I have quite a few things going out today, so I need to get to shipping and I wanted to get this filmed for you. All right, this is a cardigan, sleeveless cardigan by Bryn Walker. And this is a size XL. I'll just put it on since it's easy to throw on, but it's basically just a nice cardigan, a midi length, and definitely with the right style for the right person. I think it's really cute. So this one, I think I priced, I can't remember the prices of everything. I've listed everything in the last week and I have a terrible memory, but I think I'm expecting around 50 for this, maybe a little bit more but it's kind of a terry cloth material, like a sweatshirt material, a raw hem, and just a great basic. That one did not sell yet. <laughs> Gotta keep everything organized. All right, this is a pair of Bryn Walker pants and the same tag, and this is a size medium. So these are a little bit more unusual. I think I've sold this style before. I think it's more of like a palazzo style pant but elastic waist and then on the bottom, they kind of flare out on each side. So it kind of has this draped look when being worn and a little bit more tapered on the end, kind of a crop style. So definitely comfortable, very classic lagging look. And I think I'm expecting, yeah, I think it's like 50, 60 for a lot of these. So, but basically everything's already listed. My Poshmark closet and eBay store are linked below. Also, today's the last day of my BOGO birthday sale, birthday BOGO sale. Uh, I'm turning 40 in a week and I wanted to start off the month with a fun sale and a lot of people got some great deals. It ends today, April 4th um, at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you find two items in my closet, you send me an offer for the higher priced item, I accept and I'll get it shipped out. So and apparently BOGO sales are much more confusing <laughs> than I expected for a lot of people. So it has been a wild weekend of questions and interesting offers, but a lot of people got, got some great stuff and I'm excited for that. Here's another pair of Bryn Walker pants. These are also kind of a sweatshirt material, elastic waist. And these have, I don't know if you can kind of see more of like a balloon style um, bottom, bottom hem. And yeah, again, these don't seem that exciting, but I was very excited to find all of this. And then I think this is the last one of the lag and look stuff. Also Bryn Walker. This is a linen elastic waist, kind of a mini skirt with a really beautiful spring color. And yeah, all of those, very exciting. Okay, some other things that I was, I've got a lot of stuff here. Did I say it's 50 items approximately? I think 51 or 52. A lot of stuff. So this is a brand I've sold once before. It was acquired by Duluth Trading Company and the tags are always a little interesting. Um, so this didn't make sense to me with the X made. And then I flipped it over and it said made in Canada. It said a 100% cotton. And then I went to this tag underneath. If you look right here, it's not actually the material tag. It's just one of the tags um, underneath. It's as famous and it says Best Made Co. Now, I remember doing some research on this. This brand was a New York brand until it was acquired by Duluth Trading Company, but there's still some very sought after pieces. This, I found one comp that had sold for right around 100 and there were none listed with this X on the front, the green sweatshirt. So I decided to grab it. I started it at 124, kind of hoping for that, um, that 99 mark or that, you know, 100 mark. And uh, one of my favorite people who has purchased multiple times from me, Dawn, she uh, sent me an offer on this and then on a anthropology dress. I sent her a message and said, if you're doing the BOGO sale, you could get a higher priced item for your second. And she was really sweet. She just said, happy birthday. So anyways, she technically 
the offer for this was 99, but then she got the dress, which was approximately $25 value. She got that for free. So anyways, really excited about this find and it's getting shipped out today. All right, free people jeans. Usually I pass on a lot of them unless it's an interesting style, which this one is. This is We Have Free size 29 and I'll have to back up so you can see, but it's definitely a high rise. It's got the little, a little bit of, um, yeah, just an interesting front. I don't know how to describe it, but it's also a wide leg, which is great. Very on trend right now. And so I definitely snatched them up. These already sold for, these sold for 39 within a couple days, not part of the BOGO sale. All right, here's a sweater that I thought was adorable. It was really tempting to keep. I didn't recognize this tag, but the tag underneath, it spells out one teaspoon, if you can see right there. And it's just kind of a distressed cardigan, short sleeve, really soft. It sold in my BOGO sale, so she got a great deal on it. I originally was thinking I was get around that, gonna get around that 30 mark, but she bundled it with another item and got it for about $22. So really good deal, but a quick flip for me, and I still made a small profit. All right, here's a pair of shorts. This also sold in the BOGO sale. I promise not everything did sell, but quite a few things did. This is a pair of Sincerely Jewels, which this brand used to be more, I don't know, higher comps a few years ago when I started reselling. Uh, but these days the comps have definitely gone down. I just like the style and the fact that it had a little elastic on the sides, just a comfortable pair of shorts and a regular comps were around that 25 to 30 mark. The person that got this got it, I think for around that 20 mark. So again, they got a great deal. All right, I found two pairs of pants by a brand I haven't found in a while. I've sold it once and I have one item listed that's been listed for over two years. So I have very mixed feelings on this brand, but it's Prairie Underground. And uh, the one that's listed, that's been listed for a couple years, it's only listed at 35 and I haven't had any interest on it. High rise skinny jeans, I think is what it is. And so yeah, that's kind of disappointing, but I saw these and decided to give them a chance. This actually already sold to someone in New York, not part of my BOGO sale, but these are just, if you can see, kind of has these front pockets, just a dark blue, a side zip, and then just a little, like it's like a crop with just a tiny bit of flare at the bottom, almost like a little boot crop. But uh, yeah, she sent me a note and said she was really excited to get these. And so these are being shipped off. These sold for 35 in a couple days, which is great. The other pair of Prairie Underground pants, same tag. This was a size small, the other pair was a size medium, but these are more of like a relaxed fit, so it may have been the same person. I really like the front part of this. I don't know if it's showing, but the button is kind of off to the side and the zip is in the middle. So I just like the quirkiness of these. I also love the color. These are a kind of ankle length skinny and they have a little bit of stretch on the inside of the calf area with like a different material, but yeah, I'm expecting probably right around that 35, 40 mark for these as well. I got quite a few free people stuff that on a normal day, if I was being picky, I would have left behind, but I really needed to buy a lot of stuff. I haven't been able to thrift as much um, in the last few weeks. And so when I go thrifting, I need to pick up quantity. And so I definitely picked up quite a few free people. All of them should still sell. Some of them are great pieces. A couple of them are already sold, but this is a We The Free. It's kind of a tunic oversized top. I think someone could easily wear it as a mini dress as well, but it's We The Free, size small, and just kind of has a gauzy like material and then some raw hem around the edges. So the comps for this exact style, I can't remember the name, were in the 25 to 35 range. So if I could get 30, that would be awesome. Okay, I found three pairs of Everlane jeans, all size 24, all high rise skinny. And I'm still pretty picky with Everlane, but they weren't a terrible price. On average, everything was $5. Um, and these should still sell for around that $35 mark, but Everlane, the high rise skinny, these are just kind of a faded black. Two of them have a button fly and then one of them. So this one has a button fly. This one has a button fly, the same size, same style. And then this one has a zip fly, but it's the same style. So anyway, it's pretty tiny, but I decided to grab all three. And yeah, I think I should be able to get hopefully right around that 35 mark. If it sits too long, maybe down to 30, but we'll see. All right, here's a pair of shorts, very short shorts. <laughs> this is one teaspoon. 
And the great thing about this brand is usually they always have the style name and details on the, the back um, patch. So this is called the Bandits, which is the style. And it's a relaxed fit, uh, long rise, is that what it says? Button fly, twisted hem. Yeah, so that's this one. And I think the comps for this were right around that 30 mark, which is great. Here's a fun pair of Levi's. I've never seen this style before. This is the Mile High Super Skinny. Pretty tiny, size 25. And just to show you, they have a zipper on both sides all the way down. And it does zip up, but it won't zip off completely. It stops right here. But uh, I thought they were a pretty fun pair. I did find the exact comps and not for this exact size, I don't think, but for other sizes around that 30 to 40 mark for a lot of them. So hopefully I can get right around 35 for these. That'd be awesome. All right, I don't know if I have any more pants in the other bag, but in this bag, I think this is the last one. Pair of frame, this style, which they always have it written on the um, side usually, uh, has done okay for me. It's not the best frame um, item and I am picky with frame, but these are so, so black, like they've barely been washed. And it's also a size 23 and then the super small sizes I tend to do okay with. So I decided to grab them just cause they seem like they're in really great condition and you can't get enough. And they also have some stretch. You can't get enough of, um, you know, good black pair of pants. And those are just kind of a classic. So yeah, we'll see. I think the comps for that exact style were right around that 30 mark, so. Okay, funny enough, I picked up this exact top in like two weeks ago, and I found the style name, and some of them were selling between 40 to 50, and I ended up selling that one quickly for like $45. I was thrilled. It was kind of an ivory cream color. This is the exact same style. I've never found this style before. It's kind of a tunic length, and it's very, very oversized. It's got kind of a round high-low hem. And then on each side, it kind of has these ties. And the other one sold so quickly. This is a size medium, but it could fit, it's oversized on me. And so I think even a 1X could probably pull this off. Uh, I'm not lying, it's, it's definitely an oversized fit. But the stock photos for this are adorable. Some people tuck them into jeans. Some people kind of wear it with leggings. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of a, just a fun, cute style, kind of more of like a waffle style. And I think hopefully I should be able to get around that 40, 45 mark as well. All right. Here's a blouse I thought was perfect for spring and summer. I'm not going to get very much for this, but I am trying to pick up in season stuff right now. This brand I've sold in jeans, but I've never sold anything else besides jeans. It's McGuire. And it's dreamed up in New York, made real in Los Angeles, just a black floral, kind of almost a semi-sheer lightweight top. And the comps for something like this were right around that 20, 25 mark. This stuff has been sitting in a bag all weekend. <laughs> I got it all listed right before my sale. And uh, so some of the stuff has some wrinkles, but this, I've gotten a couple low wall offers on it, but I am kind of holding true. This is a Athleta XL dress. And basically the concept, it is way oversized on me. So the stock photo shows that the bottom hem, which is asymmetrical, basically it would ruche up. It would be a little bit fitted around the, you know, the bottom, the thigh area, and it would kind of ruche up on one side. So the stock photos are adorable for this exact dress, but on me, it's like a tent. So I actually think this would be best for um, a 1X, 2X, you know, XL, Sometimes it runs small, sometimes it runs more plus size. It's kind of all over the, the map, at least with the stuff I picked up and tried on. So this one definitely is oversized on me, but it's just a great summer dress. It's nothing too exciting. It's a nylon spandex blend, but just lightweight, comfy. I think this would be a really nice beach cover up, um, just to be able to run errands, run to the beach, that type of stuff. But all right, I got this free people sweater that is so, so soft. I thought this was kind of a nice springtime sweater because it's short sleeve, it's soft, it's not super heavy, but it still has a little bit of warmth. You could actually layer this over a long sleeve fitted top if you wanted to kind of have that look, but it's just the regular free people tag, the metal tag, and it is a size small. And basically this one is fitted around the waist area, kind of does a little bit of ruching right here, and then is a little more oversized on top. And I think the comps for this exact sweater are right around that 
30 mark. All right, this one I was tempted to leave behind because it's nothing that exciting and it's anthropology and I was like, oh, it's too basic, but it has a hood and I have a soft spot for hoods. I don't know why. <laughs> I just like them. Anyways, this is the brand Saturday Sunday. This is one of their many tags and it's a size medium. I'll just go ahead and try on everything I can for you. I like the fact that it's a little bit looser around the wrist and my favorite part is the hood. I just love a good hood, you know, especially when it's a little like looser and Anyways, so I decided to grab it just because of the hood. I think the comps for this are probably right around that 25 mark if I had to guess. Maybe I could get up to 30, but we will see. All right, now I have hood hair, <laughs> hooded hair. I don't know, Does it, is that a thing? There's hat hair, right? Uh, well, anyways. Uh, all right, this is All Saints, and this already sold in my BOGO sale. This is just a lightweight cardigan. It does have some pockets and then the hem, which is really hard to show here, is kind of choppy, I guess is the easiest way of saying it. The back is just a little smidge shorter. Anyways, the great thing about this is it's size 14 and the style name is written on the material tag, usually on all, all Saints items. And this is the Vasu cardigan. This has only been listed a couple days and someone snatched it on the BOGO sale. So I was probably expecting right around that 30 mark. I think they got a better deal around that uh, 20, 20, I think around the 25 mark. So this is getting shipped out today. And if any of you are watching that bought, bought any of these items at the BOGO sale, thank you so much. Uh, it's been a fun weekend to see what things people are putting together as far as bundles and yeah. Okay. So I did have a small pile that I still need to list and that's because I did a little bit of stain treatment on them. This one is a free people sweater and it's a size large, which is great, but it's kind of a knit cropped. Yeah. Just a knit cropped sweater. Anyways, uh, I haven't looked this up yet, but I'm assuming I'll probably be able to get, you know, somewhere around that 25 to I'll put this pile right here, the I need to list pile. Um, I think it's probably between 25 to 35, so hopefully right around 30. Here's a pair of blank NYC jeans. It's the Skinny Classic, size 29. What other details? So blank NYC. Uh, blank NYC is not a brand that I pick up very often, but I decided I would pick these up they do have a little bit of the pulling. That's a bummer. These have a lot of stretch though, so I might just try them on. But the reason I picked them up, sorry, I got these out of the wash, was the hem had this really fun um, ankle area. I just thought that was really cute. And so, yeah, but right here, if you can see, there is just a little bit of pulling um, right on front. So. I'll see if I can steam that out. If it's if it's not too bad, I'll just note it and list it still, but yeah. All right, here's another Free People sweater. I've sold this one a couple times before. It has the raw hem. It's just a V-neck, comfy, casual. This is a size small and just the classic Free People sweater. And I think the comps or what I've sold this for before is right around that 30 to 35 mark, so. All right, I did have to do a little bit of stain treatment on this one, and I'm not sure because I haven't gotten an under light yet, but this is a St. John collection. And I saw the spot in the store, but I thought it looked like a surface spot. So we will see if it came out um, when I get it under lights today. But St. John collection is one of the higher tiered ones. And I also just like the fact that it had this kind of black embroidery just a fun pop of purple. So we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. Some St. John collection like this, especially if it's the Santana knit like this, um, can do really well. So if it turned out okay, then I might be able to get somewhere around that, you know, 60 to 70 is my guess right now, but we will see. And of course I'll do a Google lens photo to see if I can find the exact style and exact comps. All right, here's a cardigan by Bro Shoot. <laughs> Brochu Walker. Why am I having a hard time with this? Brochu Walker. Uh, I really liked that this was kind of a peach spring color. It does have a button so you could do a roll tab and roll up the sleeve a little bit. Just a lightweight cardigan. Brochu Walker, the comps, it's a pretty expensive designer, but the comps aren't all that great with most items. I did pick up two items this day, but I won't usually pay too much for this, this designer. 
um, just because I personally haven't done that well with it. But we will get that one listed and hopefully the little tiny spot came out. All right, here's a anthropology dress and the brand is Diletta. Uh, again, this is kind of me picking up because it's in season and it's just a nice comfy maxi dress. I really like the print on this. Kind of does a racer back on the back if you can see me trying to hold it. But this is a small and it's it was a little snug on my size six mannequin. So I think this would probably work best for a size two or size four, but um, just easy, you know, easy to, easy to wear. I already got this photographed. All right, we've got pile, we've got three piles. Sold, needs to be photographed, but it, these, these will be listed by the time the video goes up and um, all the other stuff. All right, this was probably one of the more interesting pickups of the day. Uh, I did not recognize the tag, but the style just screamed unusual. And when I did some research, I did find a lot of items from this brand are selling from the UK for two to $500. Here's the tag, C-R-E-A-R-E. -E. I'm trying to read backwards. Creer? Yeah, I'm not sure. But this is, there's no material tag. There's no size tag. It's very oversized on my size six mannequin. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to do a little, <laughs> we're gonna have to do a little modeling. I was not expecting to jump up and down so much. So basically why this screamed unusual, I don't know what this is. It is a, the line of clothing that's sold on eBay is very avant-garde, very edgy, a lot of the stuff. I don't know what these two pieces are. They're not connected to anything. I guess it could be draped and they just kind of roll about. Maybe you could do like a, a side thing. This is, I have all the guesses. Like I don't, that actually looks really creepy. Like maybe it's just one off on the side and then you have a draped thing. Or maybe it's that you have it right here and you're just kind of fluttering. Is, is that a thing? I don't, I don't know what this is, but I just decided to hang it as normal. And in a couple pictures, I showed that there was this interesting thing, but you guys can leave a comment down below how you would wear it. <laughs> because I honestly don't know and it's black so it's hard to photograph in general but uh yeah interestingly enough I couldn't find any solds from the U.S. so now the only bummer on this which I didn't notice in store but someone could probably mend it it's not on a seam which is unfortunate is on one sleeve the top kind of front shoulder area there is a small hole if you can see right here um, and if it were on a seam, that would probably be an easy fix. And I'd probably take it to my seamstress, um, to fix that because then I could get more money, but I'm just going to sell it as is. I listed it for, I think 150. I haven't had any interest yet. I don't know who's looking for this. And if it's just UK people that know about this brand, then it will be quite a bit in shipping for them. So yeah, we'll see. We will see. This may take forever to sell, sell, but I'm always excited to try new brands. And that style was just like, I don't know what to do with this, but <laughs> All right, I honestly don't know if I've ever picked up Isaac Mizrahi. There's a couple lines that I see out at the thrift stores often. There's Isaac Mizrahi, The Live, which I think is sold online. And then, um, or I don't actually know where it's sold. And then one that says New York underneath. And I would, I picked this up off of style because how adorable is this? I mean, it's just this great poncho. There's no um, sleeves, so it's just kind of a, a wrap but I loved the colors on this. Unfortunately, this already sold. <laughs> this was like the very first BOGO sale I think I got of the day or of the weekend. And uh, there is no size on this. It's kind of a one size fits most. But if you're watching and you bought this, it's getting shipped out today. I was expecting more around the, I think the comps for similar items, I couldn't find the exact one, were between 30 to 50. So I think I was expecting right around that 35, 40 mark. Uh, but she did get a better deal on it because of the BOGO sale. So yeah, but it still sold quickly. All right, this was a really shocking pickup. I picked it up thinking I might be able to get 30, 35 for it. It's a Free People black knit sweater. So Free People metal tag, size small. The reason I picked it up or I really liked it was it was definitely super oversized. Like I knew this would easily fit me. Um, and I like the oversized Free People sweaters. It's got a little bit of ribbed and then it kind of has this mock neck. So I really liked the basic style of it. When I found the exact style, it's called the Ottoman Slouchy Tunic. Some of these are selling between 50 to $60. I was shocked, because that's very rare for me to find free people items 
that will sell for, you know, <laughs> more than 30. So anyways, yeah, I, this was a pleasant surprise. So I listed this for 79 and I'm hoping for right around that 60 mark, which is fantastic. All right, a couple more items that sold in the BOGO sale. I think some people just look at my most recently listed stuff and that's when the items they go for. I have a lot of great stuff that's not recently listed that hasn't sold yet, but uh, I know I also have a lot of stuff to sort through, but this is wooden ships and this was a size medium large. I've sold this brand quite a few times and it's hit or miss based off of style, size and just the classic aspect of this is what made me want to pick it up. These are just so comfortable. They just slouch really nicely, wear really nicely. Um, some of them do have a graphic and some of those graphics can do really well. I think this brand at one point was sold at Anthropology. You guys can leave me a comment below if you can verify that. But anyways, um, yeah, it's just usually a really good quality sweater. sweater. Um, normal comps would say I would probably be able to get about 35 to maybe 40 for this. But again, someone got a better deal with the BOGO sale and that is getting shipped out today. Here is another item that's going out today. It's Young, Broke, Young, Fabulous, and Broke, size large, absolutely adorable top. I found a few comps for this exact item. Um, none were size large, so I think I priced at 39 or 49, um, but the comps were right around that 30, 35 mark. So this one sold, again, someone got a great deal. I probably sold it for 25-ish, and um, it sold very quick, so I still made a profit. Here's a Madewell sweater that I recently picked up and sold. The one I picked up and sold before was a uh, mustard yellow and it was a 2X. This is an ivory and it's a size large. And so I knew the comps right away. So I'm expecting about 35 for this one. Great condition. Whoops, that did not sell. We are not putting that in the sold pile. <laughs> All right, here's a free people top. I knew I had already Google lens, Google searched it in the store. So I knew it wasn't a high dollar one. But I thought it was kind of a cute spring top. It's a lightweight, it does have the accent on the sleeve. This is not one of the more valuable thermals, uh, but this is a size medium, more of a slim fit as are most of the kind of thermal tops from Free People. But I just kind of like the color. It's kind of a purple taupey color. And I'm probably only expecting about 20, 25 for that, but that is a-okay by me. Here's a pair of Eileen Fisher pants really comfortable elastic waist and a straight leg. Whoops, is that a little pull in the fabric? That is, I'll have to note that. Uh, comps for something like this are probably right around that 30 mark. So it's not uh, the most exciting Eileen Fisher item, but I do like picking up Eileen Fisher. It's a consistent bread and butter brand for me. All right, this is an adorable torrid dress. I usually don't pay more than a you know dollar or two for torrid items but this is going into the right season. It's a great basic. It's a V-neck, has a little bit of a cinched waist, drawstring waist, and it's just a maxi dress. How perfect with a cute pair of sandals and a cute bag for running errands or, you know, yeah, having a barbecue. I thought someone would really like that. And what size? I think it was a 2X. So, okay, this is the first time I'm, I bought Made the Label, but I have seen it in bad condition once before. This is a Los Angeles brand, I believe, so I would assume I would see it more, but they make a variety of clothing and some of it can do really well. Used to do a little bit better, I believe, but this is just a T and it says Mama. And it's a size, I think it was a size medium, but a little bit more on the slim fit side of things. You are what you wear. This is the front of the material tag. Um, organic cotton, Main LA. Oh, the size tag was cut out. That's interesting. What did I label it as? <laughs> I know it's, I know it's listed. Yeah. I don't know why I labeled it. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. Okay. It was tucked under the, the tag. Okay. It is a size medium. Oh my gosh, Courtney, get it together. We're having all sorts of fun today. Uh, but yeah, just a kind of cute little graphic tee. The comps for this exact item were right around that 30 mark, so. All right, here's an oversized sweater by Lovers and Friends. Um, this brand is hit or miss. Some things can sell for 100 plus, some things I can't seem to move for $20. So I'm fairly picky with the brand. Motion detected at the front. Luna's out wandering around outside, so she just triggered my security system. <laughs> uh, Lovers and Friends, it, the uh, extra small obviously is concerning just because I do like 
sometimes picking up larger sizes, but I guess it's not concerning. I guess I was looking at this thinking it was a little bit bigger. And so when I saw the extra small, I was like, huh, that's weird. But then I thought, well, I do like oversized stuff. So I think this could easily fit a size small um, and still be a relaxed fit. But uh, yeah, I think the comps for this style of sweater were right around that 30 mark, 35 maybe. Right, if you know me, you know I like to hike and I love selling hiking clothing. North, the North Face is um, hit or miss comps, but I will show you why I picked these pants up. I pass on a lot of hiking pants, but the moment I see a zipper right around the thigh area, they're convertible pants. They can be pants or shorts. And when you start a morning hike, when it's chilly, and then you start hiking uphill and you start getting real toasty, it is so amazing to be able to zip off your pants and be in shorts. So this is one of the better style of hiking pants personally um, for me to pick up. Some of them have like a roll tab where you can make them capri length. There's all kinds of convertible hiking pants out there, but this is my personal favorite. And these are size eight, a nice gray color. We're just starting kicking off hiking season for a lot, a lot of the country. So I was excited about that pickup. The comps for those are, I think right around that 35, 40 mark. I love when I do this in every video. You know, I have my quirks. All right, this is Denim and Supply, Ralph Lauren. It's a size small. I thought this was a really nice spring blouse. So again, I picked this for seasonality and just kind of had a little bit of a boho with a pair of shorts or a pair of jeans and some Birkenstocks. I just thought this was a really adorable top. If it were my size, I would keep it. So, you know, partial to the print, but. All right, here's a free people sweater that I also thought was really adorable for spring. It's a knit sweater, but I just love the colors. It's just so cheerful, um, kind of a pastel rainbow effect. But this is a size small. It's just the metal free people tag. And it has this little cutout on the back, if you can see. But yeah, I mean, it fits, it's not oversized. So on the size six mannequin, it fits perfectly, just a little relaxed, but not oversized by any means. And uh, so I think someone with shorts, again, really adorable outfit. All right, these three items sold in the BOGO sale. So I'll tell you the approximate price of comps. Uh, this is We The Free size medium. And I looked at, I found the exact style, name of this, which it was like the cabin something. Anyways, it's kind of got a turtleneck. It's got this print on the shoulders and on the neck. And then it's just kind of a cropped style sweater. So this one, so the comps around for this one were right around 30. Again, someone got a better deal with the BOGO sale. I still made a profit on all the items for BOGO sale, but um, not as much as, as I was, when I purchased the stuff, I was expecting a little bit more for some of these items, but that's part of the fun of a sale is giving, giving a good deal to people. All right, this is another Free People metal tag. This one sold and the comps for this were less. So I was probably only expecting about 25, 30 for this, but I did think it was a nice kind of lightweight spring sweater. All right, and here's another Athleta item. This is a size large. I was really tempted to keep this, but I do not need another sweater for yoga. <laughs> I just don't. But you see the crisscross at the bottom? I think it's called the crisscross sweater. But anyways, this sold uh, with the Athleta Skort that I picked up in my last haul or my last thrift with me. I think it was my last thrift with me. I picked up an Athleta Everyday Skort. And so each of those sold in the BOGO sale together. And so I think I should have probably gotten right around the 30 to 35 for this but someone got a slightly better discount with the BOGO sale. All right, two more items. This one has some pilling, but it just, I really like the style. And it has a hood. <laughs> All right, oh geez. So it has the, what are these called? Oh my gosh, I have it in my listing and I, I've already spaced. Toggle? is it, it's, it's called the toggle, I think, right? So I just love toggle sweaters. I think it's like a very classic look. Um, it's kind of a statement while still being kind of neutral. And it's a midi length. It's got the front pockets and it has the hood, but there's pretty significant pilling and I just don't have the energy right now to depill. I just don't. So I'm selling as is. Uh, I would wear it as is or do a little bit of light uh, depilling, but yeah, I probably shouldn't have picked this up. It's Broshu Walker if I didn't say. And again, Broshi Walker doesn't do the best for me. So, but I just, it was so soft. I and mean, I just really, I like the toggles. So I think the comps for similar items, I couldn't find that exact one, were around the 40 to 50 mark. 
but I'm probably only expecting 30, 30 to 35. All right, last one I picked up because there are Scotty dog lovers out there and I do not have a Scotty dog, but I, I have a dog and I know I like, I like my dog and some people have Scotty dogs and they want to wear <laughs> Scotty dog outfits. Okay, there's a Scotty dog right there. Let's see if you can see the tag. Carla Marie, Maine, USA, size small, but it's a midi or I would say it's a maxi dress, like, a, like an ankle maxi dress, not quite a midi, but it's got Scotty dogs in the bottom. Look how adorable they are. They're little, um, they're, I don't, are they patches? I think they're just little patches. But anyways, she makes, uh, some of her stuff only sells for 2025. 20, a few of, their, of her dresses with really fun um, little patches were selling for around 40. I decided to aim high for this. We will see. It's adorable. And I picked it up because I know there's a Scotty dog lover out there <laughs> who would want to wear this dress. So that is my haul. I have to get to shipping. Uh, lots to ship out today. And again, if you're watching this today, April 4th, I'm still running my BOGO sale until midnight Pacific Standard Time tonight. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this haul and hanging out with me today. I hope everyone has a productive week and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.